Welcome back to our channel, Health Enthusiasts. Have you ever pondered what really goes on inside your body when you fast? It's not just a simple calorie cutting endeavor, but a profound journey affecting every aspect of your physiology. In today's deep dive, we'll explore beyond the weight loss buzz, delving into the remarkable health benefits that fasting can unlock from the intricate neural pathways in your brain to the countless cells working tirelessly throughout your body. Fasting can be a transformative experience. So stay tuned as we uncover the mysteries of fasting, peel back the layers of science behind it, and reveal how this age-old practice could be your key to a rejuvenated, healthier self. Hit that like button if you're ready to get enlightened. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health secrets and tips. Let's unravel the fasting phenomenon together, right here, right now. Embarking on the fasting journey the body enters a stage that's as challenging as it is pivotal, the energy shift. This phase is particularly intense for those who are new to the practice. You might feel the familiar pangs of hunger, a natural cue from your body as it misses its regular fuel intake. Tiredness may also creep in as your system grapples with a sudden departure from its routine energy source, glucose. Glucose, primarily derived from carbohydrates, is the body's go-to fuel. It powers everything from intense workouts to basic cellular functions, but when fasting puts a pause on carb consumption, the body doesn't simply power down. It adapts. This adaptation, however, isn't instantaneous. It's a gradual revamp of your internal energy infrastructure that unfolds over eight to 48 hours. As carbs run low, the body ignites an internal process known as ketosis. It's akin to switching from gasoline to electric in an eco-friendly car. Your liver starts converting fat into ketone bodies, alternative energy packets that become the new clean burning fuel for your brain and muscles. Simultaneously, a remarkable metabolic process called uh, gluconeogenesis uh, begins to unfold. In this state, your body becomes a resourceful alchemist, transmuting proteins and fats into glucose. It's a testament to human biology's ingenuity. When the usual energy paths are closed, your body finds new routes to ensure survival and function. As we delve deeper into this fasting journey, remember that the initial discomfort is a sign of your body's remarkable flexibility and resilience. The energy shift while temporary, is a profound reminder that within you lies an adaptable force ready to embrace the power of fasting. As we venture beyond the first few hours of fasting, the energy landscape within your body begins to shift dramatically. This transition, while it may challenge the novice faster with waves of hunger and a tangible drop in energy, is your body's innate response to a state of reduced calorie intake. Ordinarily, your system draws upon glucose easily accessed from your last meal's carbohydrates to fuel everything from cerebral functions to muscular contractions. However, when the influx of carbs halts during a fast, the body doesn't stand idle. Instead, it embarks on a profound internal quest for an alternative energy source. This is when the body's remarkable metabolic flexibility comes to light. The time frame for this significant metabolic switch leading to ketosis ranges widely. Some may experience it as soon as eight hours in, um, while others may not enter this phase until 48 hours have elapsed. In this period of metabolic transformation, your liver is the unsung hero. It begins to diligently process body fat into ketone bodies, molecules that the brain and muscles can use, akin to the way they utilize glucose. 
this switch to ketone bodies is a cleaner, more efficient fuel that can have a potent impact on neurological health and overall well-being. Concurrently, gluconeogenesis, an ingenious biological phenomenon, takes center stage. This process represents your body's innate ability to ensure a continuous supply of glucose for essential functions, especially for the brain and red blood cells, which require a constant supply even when dietary carbs are absent. It meticulously crafts glucose from glycerol, found in fat tissue, amino acids from muscle protein breakdown, and lactate from the metabolic processes. This fascinating symphony of metabolic processes underscores the body's innate wisdom and capacity to sustain itself. While the external quiet of fasting takes hold internally, a dynamic recalibration is taking place, enabling you to continue functioning without the regular intake of food. And as we'll discover, a more intricate journey that fasting has in store for us. As the fasting odyssey progresses and the body delves deeper into its metabolic toolkit, an intriguing dance of hormones begins. Ghrelin, often dubbed the hunger hormone, plays a leading role. Like an old familiar tune, ghrelin's rise prompts the sensations of hunger, signaling the body's expectation of food at the usual times of breakfast, lunch, or dinner. These hunger pangs, while potentially strong, are not the relentless foes they may seem to be. They are, in fact, waves that peak and trough in response to your body's habitual feeding schedule. Should you choose to sail through these waves, abstaining from the call to eat, the tides of ghrelin will retreat. With time, your appetites ebb and flow become less pronounced. The hormones levels stabilize, leading to a more manageable fasting experience. This hormonal adaptation is a testament to the body's remarkable ability to adjust to new regimes. Regular encounters with fasting teach the body to temper the hunger response, softening what was once a commanding roar to a manageable whisper. Each fast is a step toward a more profound mastery over these signals, enabling not just a physical adaptation, but a psychological one as well. As the body learns to expect less frequent meals, the mind too understands that these signals are not emergencies, but simply part of a transformative routine. As the fasting narrative unfolds, another chapter reveals itself, marked by a significant improvement in insulin sensitivity. This physiological shift not only paves the way for more effective fat loss, but also erects formidable defenses against a host of modern ailments, including the specters of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Within the initial 16 hour window, your body begins to refine its ability to regulate blood sugar levels. Insulin, the hormone responsible for ushering glucose into cells, becomes more adept at its job Cells respond more briskly to insulin's call, a shift that results from their heightened sensitivity after periods without food. This enhanced dialogue between insulin and cell receptors means that less insulin is required to manage blood glucose levels, easing the strain uh, on your pancreas and reducing the risk of insulin resistance, often a precursor to type 2 diabetes but the benefits extend beyond blood sugar management. This improved hormonal efficiency contributes to a better metabolic profile and bolsters overall health. Each fasting cycle fortifies this newfound sensitivity, allowing for a more balanced and health-focused internal environment. This not only supports weight management goals, but also weaves a protective web against metabolic syndromes that can compromise long-term well-being. As the fast deepens, entering the six-hour mark and beyond, a cellular renovation gets underway, a molecular process known as autophagy. This sophisticated mechanism is the body's innate recycling program, 
systematically degrading and purifying cells of their dysfunctional and redundant components. It's as if each cell summons its inner janitorial staff to clear out the debris, ensuring smooth, efficient operation. This cellular housekeeping extends its benefits across the body. By reducing the clutter within cells, autophagy curtails inflammation, a root cause of numerous chronic ailments. The ripple effects may manifest in visibly healthier skin, a deceleration in the aging process, and a fortified immune system rejuvenated by the generation of robust white blood cells. Transitioning from the microscopic to the macroscopic benefits of fasting, longevity surfaces as a prominent theme. Research, primarily in animal models, has hinted at the tantalizing potential of fasting to stretch the tapestry of life itself. Intermittent fasting cycles mimic the natural ebb and flow of resource availability that our ancestors faced, potentially activating ancient pathways that support repair and growth conducive to a longer lifespan. One of the most dazzling displays of fasting's effect is seen within the brain through the process of neurogenesis. Fasting acts as a catalyst for the birth of new neurons, bolstering cognitive functions and laying the foundations for a resilient and adaptable brain architecture. Central to this cerebral renaissance is a protein aptly named brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. This protein is to neurons what fertilizer is to plants. It nourishes and strengthens them, facilitating memory, learning, and overall brain health. As we age, maintaining high levels of BDNF is vital in guarding against cognitive decline. Fasting emerges not just as a temporary dietary change, but as a profound enabler of brain vitality, significantly elevating BDNF levels and potentially casting a protective shield against age-related brain disorders. Embarking on the journey of prolonged fasting, we encounter a myth-shattering reality. Rather than the expected muscle wasting, the body ingeniously prioritizes the preservation of muscle tissue. Initially, as one might anticipate, there is a modest reduction in protein catabolism, the process of breaking down muscle protein for energy. Yet this is quickly recalibrated. The body shifts gears, becoming remarkably efficient at conserving its muscular stores. This muscle preserving effect is in part thanks to a significant uptick in growth hormone secretion, a natural response to fasting that acts as a muscular sentinel guarding against the breakdown of protein for fuel. Amidst the myriad of physiological adaptations that occur during fasting, the metabolic rate and often misunderstood player also enters the spotlight. Dispelling another common misconception, the metabolic rate does not plummet. On the contrary, research points to a potential increase in metabolic rate, propelled by elevated levels of norepinephrine, a hormone that primes the body for action and energy expenditure. Simultaneously, the digestive system, which typically works tirelessly to process the constant intake of food, is granted a period of rest. The cessation of digestive activity not only conserves energy, but can also lead to a state of heightened mental clarity and vitality. As the digestive organs take a respite, the energy typically devoted to digestion is redirected, enhancing bodily functions and potentially contributing to a sense of rejuvenation. As we progress through the fasting process, it becomes increasingly evident that the body's response is both complex and adaptive ensuring that essential tissues and functions are preserved and that our overall energy metabolism is maintained or even enhanced, illustrating yet another dimension of our intricate biological resilience. As the journey of a prolonged fast concludes, the body requires a thoughtful and methodical reawakening of the digestive faculties. The art of breaking a fast is akin to the gentle warming of a hibernating limb, 
stirring it back to life. The reintroduction of sustenance must be approached with both reverence and strategy, commencing with the simplest forms of nourishment. Liquid sustenance, such as bone broth, rich in minerals, or nutrient-dense vegetable juice, begins the process, offering the digestive system a gentle transition from its resting state. Subsequently, this process evolves, introducing more substantial yet easily digestible foods, steamed vegetables, ripe fruits, and gradually proteins and healthy fats. This measured approach ensures that the digestive system, having conserved its resources, is not overwhelmed, allowing for a smooth and comfortable return to its regular rhythm of nutrient absorption and energy production. On the frontier of scientific inquiry, fasting presents as a beacon of potential in the realm of oncology. Preliminary studies cast a promising light on fasting's ability to not only stall the insidious progression of cancer cells, but also to possibly amplify the therapeutic impacts of chemotherapy treatments. These initial glimpses into fasting's role in cancer care suggest a dual benefit, a bolstering of the body's intrinsic defenses alongside an augmentation of medical interventions. However, the bridge between these emerging hypotheses and conclusive evidence in the human context remains under construction. The complexity of cancer's interaction with fasting demands a cautious optimism, underscored by the necessity for rigorous, expansive research. As science marches forward, the anticipation builds for a future where fasting may take its place as a complementary ally in the fight against cancer. And that brings us to the end of our journey into the profound effects of fasting on the body. We have ventured through the science of hunger hormones, witnessed the marvel of autophagy, and even peeked into the potential future of fasting in medical research. It's clear that the act of fasting holds a constellation of benefits that resonate far beyond the surface. Remember to give this video a like. It's a simple click for you, but it means the world to us.